Thanks for joining us. After serving more than a year in jail on charges of killing three people, Ronald Green Jr. is now a free man. That's because another man told investigators that he was the real killer, not Green. Let's walk you through a quick timeline. In November 2020, Green was charged with a 2020 triple homicide at an East Macon boarding house. Investigators say someone broke into the house and killed Colleen Corner, Alaric Cornelius and Chester Novak, beating them with a sharp object. Just over a year later, in September 2021, someone killed an elderly Twiggs County couple after burglarizing their home. Twiggs investigators arrested Charles Rowland for killing Peggy and Fred White. Last month, Rowland pleaded guilty to murdering them. As he serves life in prison for that crime, Twiggs County Sheriff says he's now taking responsibility for the boarding house murders. He confessed to the Bibb County investigators that he had, in fact, committed that murder and, and gave them a lot of details on it. Twix County Sheriff Darren Mitchum says they began weaving together Roland's confessions and the facts of the two crimes. That's why after 17 months, Roland Green is now out on bond. Kalisha Moore joins us in studio with, with reaction to Green being cleared and tonight's top story. That's right, we wanted to break down how indictments work and how a man could spend a year in jail before being cleared. I spoke to a law professor and the Georgia Innocence Program who said Green's release raises some disturbing questions about justice. You just look at this and you go, poor, this poor guy, Green, who ends up being maligned and being put in prison for 17 months and you wonder, where has our prosecution uh, system gone wrong? Mercer Law Professor David O'Dell says with little to no evidence in more than a year of jail time behind him, Ronald Green was caught up in a system gone wrong. So this guy didn't get a trial. This guy, Mr. Green, what happened to him was that he was accused because he had some proximity to the household or the boarding house where this was. Twiggs County Sheriff says Charles Rowland recently confessed to several murders, including the three Ronald Green was charged with. Generally speaking, people don't fess up uh, to these crimes and they don't come out. And it suggests to me that there are people in prison right now who are serving time for crimes that they did not really commit. Christina Cribs is a senior attorney with the Georgia Innocence Project, a nonprofit that works to correct and prevent wrongful convictions. People should be very concerned when we have situations where we have individuals who are being put in jail when our elected officials, our law enforcement, our prosecutors are admitting that there is not sufficient evidence to hold them. That is very concerning. She says regardless of when the cases are corrected, the conviction will always follow the accused. Just because it's corrected before a conviction does not mean that there aren't consequences for that person who's wrongfully accused, losing their family, their job, their house. You know, it's just devastating. We asked to speak to both Sheriff David Davis and District Attorney Anita Reynolds Howard about why Green was indicted and that was the evidence and what was the evidence against him. Neither one responded. Lori, back to you. Thank you, Kalisha. Howard's office did put out a statement saying they now have an ethical responsibility to ask the court to dead docket those murder charges against Green. Okay, so what does that mean? Those charges are now put on hold and won't be prosecuted.